hypnosis type meditation was created to help you strengthen your intuitive powers, to focus on something you feel, thus allowing you to relax and trust your heart to make better decisions for your well-being and happiness. This recording is of a hypnotic nature and should not be used while driving a car or operating machinery and is for entertainment purposes only. Let's begin by closing your eyes and just take a moment to notice the position of your body. The sensations in your fingers, the way you are breathing right now, how your shoulders are and the fact that as you begin become deeply relaxed, your hands may begin to feel strangely heavy or curiously light. And when you really start to relax, the focus of your mind begins to drift away from everyday outer concerns as you turn inwards into the vast and perhaps infinite possibilities of experience within your own mind. You can direct your awareness into the sensation in your legs, how they feel when they relax. And when you begin to tip into a dreaming state, just before you drift off to sleep, at night images like fragments of dreams that are yet to be just float around in your mind, like catching a glimpse in the mind's eye, just for a second, a branch of a tree dipping in a breeze, or suddenly getting a strong sensation of warm sunlight caressing the skin. And the beautiful thing is, you don't have to do anything at all right now. My words can just wash right over you, just as you continue to relax more completely, more deeply. The skin across your forehead can just soften and relax as a kind of comfort just begins to spread filtering down and around the muscles of the face and down into the jaw, releasing all tension, feeling more tranquil and peaceful. And your mind can do things you and your conscious mind know little of because there is a part of your mind that can begin to dream without your conscious mind knowing how this is done. You could be in a dream at night and imagine seeing an apple for a second in your mind's eye. Or you can imagine how the sound of birdsong might ripple through a sun-dappled forest. Breathing deeply, that clean, refreshing air. And the words, the sound waves carry through the air to your ears can just soothe and comfort you, almost as if a part of you can sense them floating in the air, gently soothing and refreshing you, looking after you as you just drift into ever deeper levels of calm and rest. And your feet know all about warmth and movement, what it feels like when you have a sensation of warm spring ground underfoot, what it feels like right now to almost feel the sensation of the ground beneath your feet as you take a stroll in your mind along a path leading you through a fresh green woodland towards a glorious open meadow getting that sense that soon there will be a wonderful feeling of space, of health and light and warmth all around you. But for now, just notice how the spring sunshine filters down through the treetops and warming your face and hands, how the woodland birds sing to one another, and now how each step takes you deeper into relaxation so that intriguingly the muscles of your legs and arms feel heavier and heavier as you rest there, while in your mind you step out freely towards that open space that's drawing you so irresistibly onwards. Springtime is the time for new life, for new energy and healthy abundance in your life. 
there are times when you relax deeper than at any other time. And perhaps as you stroll along moving towards the great clearing that holds the spring sunshine meadow of your mind, you can just be aware of the beauty of the flowers. Carpets of red poppies lying beneath the trees, a sea of colour and creation all around you, soothing the eye and the mind. The yellow gold of daffodils dancing in the breeze, the way a delicate butterfly flitters through the air and your mind as you relax so well all over right now. As you relax deeper and deeper, we can begin to get the sense of that great and beautiful meadow beginning to open up before you, catching glimpses through the trees of that meadow softly rising up the side of a gentle hill, looking forward so much to begin a part of such a rich natural beauty. The sense of openness and space as you step out from among the trees right now. A carpet of soft green grass before you, a rich tapestry of light and colour, birds darting and arching and gliding above you, as if purely for the fun of it, welcoming in the newness of the spring season, delighting in the radiance of spring colours and sounds, distant shimmering green of hedge and forest further afield. The spring grass is underfoot here in the open meadowland, warm breezes caressing your skin. Just breathe in that fresh spring air. That brightness of bright butterflies fluttering from flower to flower. That clear wood song of wild birds in the woodland behind as if you can just breathe in deeply all the vigour and beauty and wonder of this place and make it all a part of you. Feeling the space of this place opening up in your mind, a distant woodpecker is tapping. The bright, clear blue sky, the high point of this green flowered meadow such a comfortable place to stretch yourself out where you can see everything spread out below and around you resting so deeply beneath the soft warm soothing caress of the sun allowing yourself the deep and satisfying pleasure of resting in the arms of the meadow letting the vibrant music of spring sing you its song Feeling the first gentle kisses of summer approaching, caressing your mind as if every particle of you warms with the promise of vitality and life. And in a moment or so, you might almost begin to feel the stroking of a fresh, warm spring breeze across your face as you rest here. Place where the sights and sounds and sensations of this special time in the Earth's orbit around the Sun bring such a sense of peaceful, warming comfort to your body right now. And the wonderful thing is each time you relax deeply like this, you can find that you rest even deeper now because your mind knows how you can rest more and more easily. The most wonderful thing about having this rest is the experience of refreshment and new life. And as you notice those feelings of restoration and refreshment already growing stronger and sweeter, almost as if time is expanding, stretching out, and you can spend a whole day here, or as long as you like, to rest and relax and enjoy yourself thoroughly as you set time aside 
all the time in the world. That's it. To continue having fun beneath the warmth of the sun. Now, I'd like you to place one of your hands over your chest so the palm of your hand is resting on the centre of your chest. And just notice the warmth from your hand resting on your chest. Allowing the warmth from the chest to flow into your hand and as you breathe comfortably in and out, I'd like you to bring to mind a memory of your heart being touched by something. Whether it was seeing the face of a baby, or witnessing a kind deed, or a wonderful moment with someone you love. It doesn't need to be a major life event. It can even be something from a movie or a book. Just one of those moments that touched your heart. And when you found it, take a moment to really breathe in that memory, to savour it, to remember what it was that so touched your heart. That's it. And really pay attention as you do this to the sensation in your chest, to how it feels inside, to know that you're remembering something good, something beautiful, something moving, how it's more than just a thought, it's a feeling. And just keep that hand there over your chest a little longer. And perhaps there's some warmth inside. Perhaps a smile forming at the corners of your lips. And the corners of your eyes. Just seeing what you saw in this time. Hearing what you heard. Connecting. Drinking in this memory. Perhaps there's a little ache, a little pull inside, a little message from your heart telling you to find more moments like this in life. And then very slowly, as slow as is humanly possible, you can allow that arm to drift downwards, a fraction of an inch at a time. And if for some reason you didn't lift your hand up to your chest, then you can just imagine this happening. And with each slow, tiny movement of that arm backwards towards your lap or your side, ever so slowly, you can begin to relax deeper and deeper and deeper still. So that when that hand does eventually drift all the way down, you will find yourself in a wonderfully deep state of rest and inner focus where you can make lasting changes within. That's it. Face softening, shoulders loosening, comfortably resting, deeper and deeper, all the way down. And the writer and mythologist Joseph Campbell, who studied folk tales and myths and legends from all around the world, identified three paths we can take through life. Three paths that show up in a story after story and in life after life. There is a path of the village where we try to be good, to do what we should do, to fit in with our fellow villagers, to get social approval, to try to be liked. And as I'm saying these words, I'd like you to stop for a moment and connect with the reality of your own village. The fact that there are very social pressures on you to behave in certain ways, perhaps family members, friends, colleagues, bosses, also television shows, books, magazines, all creating a web of expectations about how you should be behaving, about what you should be doing with your life. And of course, there's a certain safety in this village. You can walk at streets, nod your head and smile at familiar faces as you walk to the grocers and the bakers, as you pass the post office, 
and comment on what a nice day it is and fulfill your role in this small pleasant little world where nothing much ever changes and everything's just how you would expect really just get a sense now of your personal village of the shoulds of your life the expectations around how you should be spending your time around what kind of person you should be and you might notice something a little restrictive about all those shoulds something tight and heavy the way they constrain you because being human there will always be parts of you that don't perfectly fit the village expectations there's more to you than just that social mask there's a depth to your being passions dreams all the different parts of who you are and you might sometimes notice a real urge to rebel against being told what to do. And the second path that Joseph Campbell saw laid out in many world myths, a different life path, is that of the wasteland, the place for those who simply cannot tolerate life in the village, who just don't fit those social conventions the rebels, the renegades, who live in opposition to conventional social values. And many of our great artists, performers and musicians have something of this rebellious streak in them. And it has fueled their creativity and self-expression. But rebellion, for rebellion's sake, can lead to a bleak and barren place a tundra of ice and snow and endless grey skies where you only define yourself by what you're not where you're saying I'm not the village I'm not those social conventions I reject them but not knowing where to go from there it's like realising your heart's not in something but then not being able to listen where your heart really does want to go and so getting stuck in this wasteland and again many famous musicians and artists come to an unhappy end knowing what they didn't want in life but not knowing what they did want and the third part is the journey of leaving the village but instead of retreating to the wasteland following your calling, following your heart, following your bliss, following what makes you feel most alive. And people sometimes say they don't know what their calling is, that a light never shone down on them from the sky, and they never heard a voice telling them their purpose. But of course, that's not how it works. Your calling is revealed to you in your body as a subtle feeling of lightness. Perhaps a subtle warmth in the chest. A hint of excitement or interest just beginning inside when you think of doing certain things, when you think of making certain choices, whether that's the thought of travelling somewhere of learning to do something, of getting to know a certain person better. It's that sensation of a little smile happening inside that will grow stronger and brighter over time the more you follow your heart and make those choices. I want you to really connect now inside with the reality of being on your own journey of feeling drawn in a particular direction. That's it. Following this path, arms swinging at your sides, feeling deeply curious about what's ahead. And as you walk your path, your journey, you can remember that following your heart 
doesn't mean it will always be easy. There may well be challenges, obstacles, even people from your village telling you that you shouldn't be doing it. And you're going to need courage, steadfastness, clarity of mind, focus, and the ability to really honour the calling of your heart to keep going on this path. And it's good to know you are not alone here, for there are many others through history and alive today who followed their calling, who followed their hearts. Maybe great figures from history, maybe friends and loved ones, even your own ancestors from way back in time. And these people can travel with you inside, supporting you, guiding you and you can just get the sense of the support of several friendly encouraging presences reminding you that it's okay to be you and that you have a unique path to follow here your own life listening to these presences listening to your heart trusting your instinct that's it and then I'd just like you to get a sense of what it is that you will do next a specific action you're going to take over the next few hours or days that's a real step along this path maybe making a phone call maybe writing out a plan noticing this light this warm sensation of passion and rightness within your body and you can be sure to use your rational mind as a tool and as an ally to refine your plan to blend the wisdom of your heart with the practicality and clarity of your mind just get a sense right now of taking this next step along your journey and feeling very good as you do. In a moment, I'll count from one up to five. And at the count of five and not before, your eyes will open you'll feel energized on the last number and only the last number and only when you have accepted the power of these suggestions you'll let those eyes open become fully alert and totally refreshed feeling wonderful in every way one slowly calmly easily you're returning to your full awareness once again Two, each muscle and nerve in your body is loose and limp and relaxed and you feel wonderfully good. Three, from head to toe you are feeling perfect in every way. Physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and serene. On the number four your eyes begin to feel sparkling clear. On the next number count, eyelids open, fully aware, feeling calm, rested, refreshed, relaxed, invigorated, full of energy. Number five, you're fully aware now, eyelids open, take a good deep breath, feel your lungs and stretch, 